what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Thousands of Trump supporters in Michigan staged a rally to protest Governor Gretchen Whitmer's stay-at-home order. Only one problem. It wasn't really a protest. It was more like a Trump campaign rally. Yeah, they tried to disguise it as a protest, like we're tired of being at home. We want to get out and work and live and be vibrant. No, this is all part of the agenda to try to get Trump reelected. See, Trump don't want to be dealing with no pandemic right now. I mean, nobody wants to deal with a pandemic, but he's the president of the United States, so it's his job to deal with the pandemic, like it or not. But if he had his choice, even though the pandemic is real and is killing thousands of people, he would just pass it off to somebody else. If he didn't have to speak on this, he would not speak on it. He'd give it to somebody else because number one, he's incompetent. So he really don't understand the gravity of the pandemic. He don't even understand the lingo. The dude is slow. He's really slow up top. So he would like to just give this to perhaps, you know, his, his Sambo uh, Surgeon General. What's his name? Uh, Jerome Adams. <laughs> you know, the dude that was talking about uh, mama them and all that old stuff, all that old slow talk, that slow poke talk he was doing. Did I mention that Michigan's Democratic governor is on the short list to become Joe Biden's VP pick? Or what about the fact that the protesters broke the law when they defied the social distancing order? And the law broke the law when they refused to do anything about it. The reporters asked uh, some of the people out there, well, why are you protesting? Why, don't you think it's dangerous to be out here not practicing social distancing? I see uh, you have a mask on, the X1. I see you have a mask on, so you obviously are concerned about you know, the spread of the disease. And he's like, well, yeah, uh, but uh, the, uh, yeah, I'm concerned, uh, but you know, I, I just feel like the media is 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 trying to make it out of more than what it is. That's how they sound. Another one. They put a mic in his face. Well, well, why are you out here? Don't you think it's a problem, you know, being out here, you know, not practicing social distancing? Uh, don't you think you, uh, somebody, it, it could be a, a big problem? Well, I, I don't think it'd be a big problem. It, 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 you know, it'd be a little problem, but not a big problem even if it was a little problem. Wouldn't that concern you to be out there taking a chance on catching a deadly disease or spreading a deadly disease? Is it really worth, is it worth the risk just to get out there and show your naked ass to, to swing on Trump's riding scrotum? Just, yeah, Trump. Uh, Trump. It is. It absolutely amazes me how people can follow someone who is so slow up top. I mean, usually a leader has to be charismatic and intelligent. You know, true leaders. You know, that's the thing that they ha they have in common. They have to be charismatic and intelligent, you know, know what to say, when to say it, right? This dude, Trump, he just don't know. He's clueless and he's totally winging it. He wings every aspect of his responsibilities as a president. Remember when he got elected and he went to the White House to meet Obama for the first time. <laughs> he was sitting on that couch. Uh, I think it was a couch or a chair. I, I guess it was a chair. Sitting on the chair and Obama was sitting in the other chair. And he had this bewildered look on his face. He, had, he, was like, he, was, he looked like a deer in headlights. That's what he looked like. 
He was like, what the hell have I gotten myself into? Because I really don't think that he thought he could win. And I guess when he figured out the collusion thing with Russia, he knew he would win. And he was sitting there thinking like, damn, uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for this. He just, he just was not there. Go back and look at that video. He's not there. That's because he knew he was in over his head. The trip part about it is that many of the people who follow him, some of the more educated people, at least book-wise, people who have money, they know that he's slow up top. They know he's a problem. They know he makes them look bad. But because he is for the rich and the very wealthy, they are for him. They vote for him. And some of them who ain't even got real money because they want to have that real money. They aspire to have that. That's why they ride for him. No other reason to ride for him. It's all about money with them. Like, this dude's saving me money. I'm doing better than I did last year. You're doing better how? All of them, that's all they talk about is money. How they're doing better financially. So it's like, they grade their life on how much money they have. So their value is wrapped up in how much money they have. You dig what I'm saying? That's how they look at life. I'm doing well based on my financial situation. I've been there and I can tell you that when I had the most money, I was the least happy. That's a fact, Jack, because you got to be right. Your, your spirit got to be right. It doesn't matter if you have a million dollars or a dollar. If your spirit is right, you're going to be happy. And that's success to me, ultimately. That's what life is about, finding your inner peace. You know, you go out there and do something great and all that. Yeah, that's cool. But having an inner peace, being at peace with yourself, having a good spirit and spreading that good spirit, spreading goodwill, that's really what it's all about. These people are selfish. They're going out there hitting the streets and the only reason why they're out there is to try to get Trump reelected. This was a campaign rally minus the figurehead. They were out there acting like they really cared about America. That's the trip part about it. They be waving the flag and all. These people don't care nothing about America because the only time they start screaming that patriotism and all that stuff is when they want to do whatever they want to do, when they want to break the rules, right? Or someone else is exercising their rights as an American, and they don't like it, they don't like it, then they got a problem with that. Kaepernick, you dig what I'm saying? So I'm not feeling it. I know what it's about. They've been exposed. They are really a sad case. Thousands of them too, man, just lost. You got to be lost to follow Donald Trump. You got to be lost to believe in that dude. The dude is a liar, a thief, uh, an accused sexual predator, a backstabber, betrayed all his friends. How could somebody look at somebody like that? and trust them. And some of these fools even aspire to be like him. We're in trouble. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?